an assemblage of the cerebrals. They are gravitating towards the same destination to reposition mining and steel development in Nigeria, ensure they henceforth contribute significantly to gross domestic products, and create a pathway to achieving the desired $1 trillion economy. From the Minister of Solid Minerals Development to other active members of the sector, achieving this isn't rocket science, but a well-coordinated approach that will allow active participation of the private sector. By the time we are done with all of these efforts and inputs and policy initiatives that we are putting in place, trillion of Naira will just be a child's play. We'll be nudging the trillions of dollars. Already, we are embarking on aggressive and proactive promotion of Nigeria's endowment to foreign investors. We are going to specify, specifically look for ways and means of ensuring that we account for how the 300 billion dollars can happen. If at the end of the day it cannot happen, we will see how far we can go and the outcome will be presented to the two ministers. I can express my profound gratitude to the visionary leadership and management of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, NIPS, for their confidence in our brand and their willingness to collaborate with us in fostering dialogue, innovation, and progress in shaping Nigeria's economic landscape. They agree that securing the mining operating environment and local value addition to mined resources are doable if there is concurrence from the subnationals. I think this is the right thing to go because this seven point agenda that you have is what is going to define the industry. Besides the prospects highlighted, others clamored for de risking the sector to attract more investors. Only